In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing plays from the strong close in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what I do, every single day on YouTube, what I do is I share with my subscribers four tips and tricks video breakdowns to help you get better both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. I upload videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And I also stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time to share with you different uh, answers to questions, answer live questions, and play Madden with my subscribers. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you're looking to get better at this game, I would encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe, and research shows that only 40% of the people that are watching this video, which means that 60% of the people that are watching right now have yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor and doing yourself a favor and go ahead and clicking the subscribe button. All right, guys, I wanted to share with you a tip that I actually broke down in my text message membership last week. We actually broke down a full, strong, close mini scheme that is about an hour long so if you want access to the strong close all you got to do is text me and i can shoot you a link to that we also have several other full schemes in that playlist we add a new video to it every single week so if you haven't signed up for the text membership i would highly encourage you to do so but this play strong close wide trail i think this is one of the best plays in the entire game specifically for beating a lot of the different coverages that people will go to and primarily what we're going to show you this is primarily against tampa 2 and and cover 3 invert right a lot of people run a lot of cover 3 invert now as a general rule um you can run this to the short side or the wide side it really isn't going to make that big of a difference which side of the of the field you're on for this specific play and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put godwin on a flat route and then i'm going to put gronk on a little route, little post route if I have tight end apprentice. If not, he can just stay on his route. But against cover two, you're gonna notice that this is an absolute laser against the cover two, the cover two style defense. And it does work a little bit better if you're on the right hash. But what I will say is you'll be surprised at how well this actually will work on the left side hash. And really the key to it is just you know kind of pass leading it, pass leading it open. But let me jump over here to the let me jump over to the other hash just so that I can you know kind of show you this whole thing. And in my personal opinion, I think it's actually best to run the strong close with the with the tight end to the right side or to the to the short side and use the use the motion to create basically the twin set to the wide side of the field. But anyway, if you motion this over and it's on the wide side of the field, you're going to see if they run cover two, you're just going to pass lead this to the left. And as you see, it's an instant one play touchdown against cover two. In my opinion, this is one of the best, if not the best cover two beaters in the entire game. It really doesn't matter what they do. This is going to beat cover two every single time. And you don't even necessarily have to run him on a flat zone. I'll show you right here. If I leave this receiver on a slant, you're going to notice here that against cover two, you're still going to be able to pass lead that to the left. The only problem with that is the cloud flat, I find, plays the plays the route a little bit better. So that's why I tend to like to just go ahead and put this receiver on a flat. You're going to see, see how he pulls that flat out of the way, and this is much, much more open, and you're able to hit this thing. Most of the time, you're going to hit this for a one-play touchdown. Sometimes you will get tackled. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted to let you know when you're running this play, again, you want to flat route Godwin, and then you want to post Gronkowski. Now, if you can't post him, if you don't have tight end apprentice, you can leave him on his trail route. It's really not that big of a deal either way. But as you can see here, this is an absolute laser against cover two. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to talk about how you can do against a lot of different, a lot of popular cover three concepts. And I want to show you um, what I'm talking about here in just a second. But before I do, I just want to remind you, if you want to get my full strong close mini scheme, it's about an hour long and it's in my text message membership. So shoot me a text message. My phone number is 812-216-3644. Once you send me a text message, I'll shoot you the whole playlist that has not just the strong close in it, but it has several of my full schemes. I break a full scheme down every single week in my text message membership. This last week, we broke down the strong close. This week, we're breaking down the 335 wide defense. So if you haven't already hit me up via text, go ahead and do that. I have some really, really good content and really, really good schemes in the videos that are going to really be able to help you, I think, move the ball more effectively.
Okay. So that being said, I want to show you something else. A lot of people, when they play cover three, what they'll do out of a cover three is they'll do something like this right here. And on the on the weak side of the cover three, so that's that's on the left side right here, what you'll see a lot of people do is they will actually put this guy in a deep half zone because they think that that's going to help them with that with with basically not getting bombed over the top. The beauty of this cover, this uh, wide trail play with this inverted little out route is you're going to see this thing does a pretty good job of actually getting over the top of the deep halves. It doesn't always get over the deep halves. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, that this is always going to get over the deep half, but it does a decent job. Um, it, it, it really does a decent job of getting over most of the deep halves that people are going to do. And again, when I say deep half, I mean that literally they're going to click onto their corner and hot run into a deep half and play cover two invert basically on that short side of the field. And from what I have found, this play, as long as you, you know, as long as you have this right here with that post route in this little motioned over flat, you can even put him on a slant with this specific one, but you'll see. You can basically kind of pass lead this thing to the outside, click on, and you can have a chance to make a play. Now, sometimes they'll play it a little bit better than others. Uh, let me show this to you on the other hash really quickly. Just because I want to make sure that I make sure that in my notes I didn't get this wrong. But against that deep half, oftentimes you're going to see that this thing opens up a lot. Now, this route, this specific streak route from the Y trail play is really good for a lot of different coverages and a lot of different scenarios that you might face. So I always recommend, you know, trying it against a couple different things. But here's what you'll see. You see how when you put him on the – see how when you put the receiver on the flat, and I know that he intercepted me there, but you see the window. When you put that, that receiver that you're motioning over, when you put him on a slant route, you're going to find that this thing – opens up like crazy because basically what's going to happen is because that slant route has a vertical stem to it meaning that it's going to go five yards or more what that's going to tell that cover to invert little inverted inverted um deep half that they're going to run over there watch what he does you see here he's going to kind of watch me here on the left side and i can basically throw that with a hard left outside pass lead now, if they have a purple zone out there that's, you know, 25-yard purple, you do need to be a little bit careful with this. But if they, you know, again, if they're just running the standard cover three, you can get this thing relatively easily um, against this. Let me show you this one more time. And then, and we know how good this is against cover two. The beauty is now it's not just good against cover two, but right there, that's the animation that I was trying to show you earlier. You see that one play touchdown against cover three invert? That's the power of this play right here. When you put that slant route out there, it does super, super good against this. Now, you might be saying, well, okay, what if what if they call cover two? Does this do well against cover two? You'll see it actually does fine. Um, again, you want a hard left pass lead it, and you see how it's going to See how it's going to really get the ball away from the defender? That's the beauty of it. And also, what we're not accounting for is a lot of times when people run some type of cover two zone you're going to get this press alignment if they press it's going to make this thing so much more open and as you see hard left pass lead is going to basically lead the ball away from the safety and make it a very easy read against that defense so this is how to run the strong close wide trail play now really quickly before we take off i want to remind you if you have not texted in to get the full strong close scheme i would highly recommend it it's about an hour long we break down some very very effective very, very good passing concepts from this strong close that you can also add into not only the running concepts from strong close, but if you run Las Vegas or even if you run the West Coast playbook, you could add these passing concepts to those as well. So I would highly encourage you to go ahead and shoot me a text if you want to pick up those schemes. And the last thing I want to let you know about is our live stream tonight is going to be at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We normally live stream every night at 10 o'clock. But tonight we're going to start it at 9 o'clock because we're doing our Xbox One CFM draft tonight. So if you have 
If you are interested in signing up for my cash prize CFMs either on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, go ahead and shoot me a text. Let me know you're interested and we can talk through the specifics. But tonight is our Xbox One draft. So really excited to stream a little bit longer and a little bit earlier with you guys. Hang out, talk Madden, and talk the draft. Thanks for watching today's video. And again, if you want to get that full strong close screen scheme, just go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 3644